three, two, one. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Ace Torn. Yes, sir. You know what time it is on the voice of the South. Q Smitty with Polar Jocks giving you that cool rush, man. Today we in the building with a very, very special guest. All the way from North Kakalaki, baby. <laughs> yes, so, yes, yes, so special guest in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? That boy moving, man. He, he is working for yes, sure, sir. man. I ain't gonna ain't gonna talk too much, but I'm gonna let him describe it to you, man. But he a heavy <laughs> hitter, like I said. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to my guy, Baby Cheese. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My guy in the building, hitting. man. How you feeling, bro? Man, I'm everything healthy, man. I have yeah. no complaints at all. Yo, what's poppin', it's your boy Ace Torn. What half of Polar Jocks yes. with, man? You need to pull up at the Dacker Bars. No cover charge. And guess what? You got to be 21 to enter. You got to. The world's games is here. So you trying to pregame. Right. I'm going to have Dacker Bar when you need to come to. You trying to wind down. This is spot you need to come to. Or trying to move around a certain way. You don't want too many people in your business. The Birmingham Dacker Bar where you need to come to, man. 324 9th Street North. And also, don't forget, Sunday through Thursday, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. It's Polar Jocks. Listen, man, now that we're here, man, I can finally ask somebody from North Carolina this question, man. What's up? Because it's been on my mind for a while. Is North Carolina the South? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been to Charlotte uh, like once before, yeah. and like for whatever reason, I don't know why, I was running into a lot of people from New York and oh, yeah, New they, Jersey, and I was like, wait a minute, like it feels like the South is hotter than the motherfucker, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's like, am I in the mid Atlantic or what? Nah, it's the South, bro. It is definitely the South. It's, uh, it's closer to the North. I think like the South really stopped after VA. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know we up under VA or whatever, so it's, it's definitely the South. But they come home. I mean, people from New York come there because it's slower. You know what I'm saying? They come, they get more. It's, it's more money there too. Like you gotta think, it's a bunch of people in New York. Ain't no money up there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's more money here. It's more money down in North Carolina. You feel me? Mm, the May baby, come be my Valentine. Exclusive events is bringing you a Valentine event that'll make you leave your ex at the door. Be my Valentine showcase. Beat us at Sidebar on Southside, February 14th. There's a $100 cash giveaway, and there's fresh food and music for you to enjoy. Says, can you break Carolina. down that Carolina culture of you growing up there? Were you born and raised there? Yeah, 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 bro. For okay, sure. what for was sure. it like for, sure. for you growing up in North Carolina, and how has the music scene gravitated towards you growing up there? Man, um, North Carolina, it, I say, I always say anywhere in America, bro, like, it's always going to be what you make it. You know, the hood here in Birmingham gonna be like the hood in North Carolina. You feel mm -hmm. me? You know what I'm saying? You got you got street niggas, you got you got treacherous females, you got crabs in a bucket, whatever. You know, it's a lot of like the city I'm from, New Bern, it's a small city. It used to actually be the capital, like, you know, like Pepsi was made there, all that shit, bro. So like but it's a small city, you know what I'm saying? It was a capital for a messed up reason, you feel me? But it it's literally like a crab in a bucket mentality and like North Carolina used to be like that when it came to music, bro, but Everybody like they see the light now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they 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 like yo, this can really happen. Like you mm -hmm. know, okay, Cole pop, you know what I'm saying? And I give Cole his credit because he from Carolina, he from Fayetteville, but people like say, oh, he went to New York. Well, well, well you gotta lead the jungle to feed the jungle sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you know, we got so much nostalgia there, so it was like. But when somebody like the baby popped, it was like I don't know what it was, but like a light bulb went off for a lot of people, and it was just like yo. We gotta, we gotta come together. We gotta build mm -hmm. this market. Like all the tastemakers and the DJs, they started loosening up their reins and letting more people in. And you know, you gotta come through North Carolina to get on too, bro. Yeah. Like, cause you gotta come to them schools and stuff like that. So yep. the market is opening up. We didn't have a market for a long time. We really don't even have a sound either, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you know, people like I had a dude tell me he didn't even know I was from North Carolina because he don't know what North Carolina sound like. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, it's, the market's opening up and it's cool, bro. I love it. So how did you build your buzz in North Carolina? Cause Man. you know, being from there, you know a lot of times when you from your city, they don't support you as much, you know what I'm saying, it's tough. Yeah. So how did you have, you know, get your own people to support you and the people in your city to, Man. you know, rock with you? I just got with the right people. Um, It's all about relationships in this industry. Mm. So like, you know, whether it's on a, a local level, whether it's city, state, and then it gets to like industry level, or whatever. You start meeting more people when they see how you operate, how you carry yourself, how you hold yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt, give them respect up front. I'm business first, even when it, you know, it, with women and stuff like that. I let them know up front, you know, it's business first. And, you know, I ain't got to be on your airtime. I see you, you feel me? You know, I duck more than I get. So at the end yeah. of the day, 
you know, I'm, I'm about that money first more than anything. And when people sure. see that you're really about your money, you're passionate, you're about your craft, some people will use it against you and they'll use your hunger against you. But, you know, I just never quit. I never laid down, you know what I'm saying? And my city just, my my city personally know me, like, since a, since, since a young and, like, rapping. He going to rap. I mean, yeah. I had the schools turned up. I had the block turned up. When the internet got big, you know what I'm saying? Like, going live on, like, Facebook and Instagram, stuff like that, like, freestyling, rapping or whatever, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I was battling people, like, didn't matter, you know what I'm saying, as a, as a young and, like, battling people, like, so that's how I really got it up, like, just shaking hands, meeting, and then just, you know, believing, you know what I'm saying, and, like, praying, come across the right people, networking, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, going out, talking to people, you know what I'm saying, I don't even really like the club like that, you feel me, like, yeah. We going to the clubs. I was like 16, 15, 16 years old. My brother had me in the clubs with him when he was performing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I watch how he move. He always let people know, hey, woo -woo. you know, he hustling CDs. Hey, I'm such and such. Mm -hmm. Da da da. This is me. Listen to this woo woo stuff like that. So I just kind of took bits and pieces that learned to network. And that's how it really came about. You know what I'm saying? Then the internet played a good part too because I was started going up on the internet too. Man, shout out to AMS, man. That's what we call an abundant <laughs> mindset. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Especially so, when man. it comes to these women, Shots bro. Because I know. AMS. A lot of them women gonna throw themselves at you, especially as yeah, an artist, man. Sure. And then, you know, dealing with what we dealing with right now in the climate of music, mm -hmm. man. It's like the allegations are being thrown yeah. from left to right, goddamn. And yeah, it's just tough. like you have to really duck and dodge that type of shit, man. So yeah. diving a little bit deeper into the music, describe your style because you know, you know, you definitely can flow, man, and you pick amazing beats like the yeah. Uchi. <laughs> Shout out to Nas, man. Uchi yeah. Wally Wally, you know what I'm saying? Sure. That right there is a club banger. Yeah, man, for sure. I um I love oldies, man. Like I listen to oldies more than anything. Mm -hmm. Like we on tour. If I got the ox. Old school. What? Well, I'm trying to take I came up on that, like, yeah. you know, fun fact about me, but I couldn't listen to rap till I was like seven, eight years old. Oh, they I didn't you listen grew up to in a rap. religious household or it wasn't yeah, we're religious, but it wasn't like super religious, like, you know, like you know what I'm saying? It, I don't know how to really describe yeah. it. Like, it was a regular household, you know what I'm saying? She like, just a script in what you did yeah, and what, like you, it, what you listened to. Yeah, like, my, my pops and my moms was just, like, let them be kids first. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like, you know, we gone. It was kind of like a small shelter type thing as, as a small kid. But, you know, about second, third grade, that, it went out the window. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like, now nah, I had older cousins coming around. Like, you know, along with my cousin Splash, he, you know, he he's a DJ. But Splash, he was signed to Night Wonder. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then him and my brother, my brother used to come home from college at the time. I'm in third grade. Yeah. I watch him hustle his mixtapes, stuff like that. I watch him go to the block. You know what I'm saying? He hustling mixtapes. He's selling clothes, he's selling weed, doing whatever, and freestyling on the block or whatever. He got me with him. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Taking me around, my big brother. You know what I'm so saying? Soaking so, up all the game. Yeah, so I'm soaking it all up, bro. So, like, that's how I really, like, the Uchi beat came about. Like, you know, when I hear a sample, I hear how somebody flipped it. It's like, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Now, samples, they're crazy. Now, now I'm in a bigger market. I can't just do samples no more. Yeah. I got to get them cleared or I got to, you know, they got to be flipped a certain way. Mm -hmm. But, man, just when it comes to, like, the beat selection, especially for Uchi, man, it was just undeniable. And But it was undeniable for me. But me and my partner, that was our least favorite beat because it's like, man, we done done the samples before. Mm -hmm. And we was just trying to, you know, it was his birthday. You know, my brother, shout out Super Truly, he on the record, too. Like, it was his birthday. All he wanted to do was get in the studio. He had been telling me for, like, past two weeks, like, bro, I just want to get in the studio. I was just like, all right, man. You know, so being a brother, yeah. I, I going to support it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I built the studio time. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get some wings. Let's go get some, you want some Patron or something? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, bro, let's do that. All right, bet. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some vibes. Let's go to the studio. And on the way to the studio, I played, like, seven, eight beats. Mm -hmm. Beats were hard. We were just freestyling back and forth, exercising. Get to the studio, send, the, uh, send my engineer, Unknown, to pack. None of the beats would come up except Uchi. That was the only Damn. beat that, were, that now I'm telling you, that's how God worked, bro. Like, yeah. that was the only one I was just like, bro, what are we going to do? He said, shoot, we know we can make a hit to it. Let's do it. And it was simple. It was easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't take long to record it. It didn't take long. Like, we wrote it all right there together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thought of the hook together. Orchestrated the hook. Literally chopped it up in the hook simple, but... It was just five minutes. So when it comes to like beat selection for me, man, like I, I don't know. I just I love music so much, man. Like mm -hmm. I love music so much, and it stimulates from like gospel and oldies and R and B. And then by the time I got the rap, it was just like, and then I'm hearing like like records like um, uh, what's uh the Method Man record? You're uh, well, man, and I'm like, yeah, I know where that song Blige. came from. You feel yeah, me? So I'm like, yeah. oh, they can do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do this. So I was just like, man, that's what I want to do. Yeah, that's dope, man. Uh, so, so who is 
baby chief like because it sounds like you also come from a good musical background because you said your cousin worked with ninth wonder yeah that's another north carolina legend right there ninth For wonder sure. man so did you just grow up in in church were you just like at school freestyling with people what was it like being baby chief from an adolescent all the way up to the time you decided to become a rapper man i knew at eight years old I wanted to be a rapper. So it was literally, everything you just said, it was all of that, bro. Like, I don't run from the fact that I was in church. Yeah, I went to church, bro. My mom, I sang in the choir. My mom had us in the choir, but that don't mean I was soft and no shit like that. Like, that don't make me, you feel me? Like, but yeah, because I, I love God. He got me here. I'm here with y'all, yeah. you feel me? Y'all didn't know who you, I was. I'm glad you, you said me? that, bro, because a lot of, you know, as far as like a lot of dudes in our area, in our generation, yeah. they think you do certain things or you raise a certain, raise a certain way you soft. No, and bro. that's why so we got so many men faking their lifestyle and it yeah. really ain't that no nah, bro it yeah. ain't that like at the end of the day i'm not gonna sit here and say like we there's no such thing as a perfect christian you feel me you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying like we fall short all the time you know what i'm saying and our faith tell us that you know what i'm saying but i'm just not a christian rapper because i done seen and done so much stuff bro like i done so so much stuff that they would classify as bad bro you feel me but as far as like uh, young and up until the part I wanted to be a rapper professionally like man it was just I went through so much stuff bro like so much stuff like I outside I played the block for so many years I jumped off the porch at 11. Mm. I played the block so long bro like you know shoot I had I spent time down in Florida you know what I'm saying my birth yeah. mama that's why I really played the block at you know what I'm saying but it was just coming from I wouldn't say I got a musical background as a family but it was just on something like you know music was fluent in our crib you know what I'm saying like I come from an era. I got old school parents. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't pay the you don't pay the bills. Don't touch the thermostat. Here's don't touch the radio in the car. Yeah. Turn oh, the lights man. off when you leave the room. Don't leave the refrigerator open after the kitchen yeah. clean. Don't go back in there. Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm in the whip with my pops, he's playing everything. Otis Redding. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Gap Band. Charlie Wilson by himself. Like yeah. you know stuff. I listen to today. Anita Baker. Like I'm I'm, I'm on Anita Baker bag. I love Anita like, Baker. You feel me? Like he playing all of that. And my mom, she playing the Whitney Houston, the Mary J. Blige. She yeah, playing the older stuff. Yeah. She playing. You know they weren't just playing gospel all day. You feel me? Like right. they playing they stuff. Mm -hmm. Stuff that they dance to. They vibe to it. The juke joint stuff like that. Shit like that. You feel me? So like they doing that. Then, you know, but we went to church on Sundays. You know right. what I'm saying? Not even every Sunday, but, you know, like I said, we went to church on Sundays. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every fourth Sunday was youth choir. So we had in there. And that was just to create structure right. for me to be able to do this with a mindset of, like, yo, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. be structured about it. You know what I'm saying? And have faith in yourself. If you don't have faith in nothing, have faith in yourself and have faith in God. You know what I'm saying? And I know God brought me here. Like, I was just telling sis outside. I was like, you know, let God. She came up on something else. Boom. Yeah. I was just like, let God work, sis. You feel me? She was like, exactly. I was like, let God work. You know what I'm saying? I pray before I do everything. I pray before we did this. Yeah. You feel me? So it's just to create that structure, that order, man. But adolescent chief was a wild nigga, bro. So I want to ask, like, far as like you jumping out, the, jumping out the porch early, how would you able to do that? You know, what I'm saying your parents kind of shelter you, y'all, and they were so strict. Was man. it because of your brother? You know, what I'm saying running with your brother, you got your way with them, and then you know, they some things they didn't find out. I wouldn't, of course, when you with your brother, certain stuff, they ain't gonna find out. But at that time, bro, I wasn't staying in North Carolina. Oh, okay, I was in Florida. You, you feel okay, me? Okay. Like, I was like, that after, sense, yeah, yeah, I had moved to Florida. And it was just me and my mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, I had little, you know, me and my mama, I lived with my mama in the hood in, in, in New Bern, you know what I'm saying? When I was a, when I was a kid, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like a little kid. Then moved out, got a little bit better with my pops, you know what I'm saying? And I moved back with my mama. We went right back to the hood, but she lived in Florida at this time. Gotcha. So I went down to Florida. That's why I really jumped off the porch at down in Florida. So it's like a lot of, I got roots down there too. I mm -hmm. love Florida. Well, Florida probably my favorite state. Yeah. I love Florida to death, you know what I'm saying? Like next to North Carolina, but Florida my favorite state. But like I jumped off the porch there and that's really how it was. It was just like, it was just a mom and her son. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying my mama didn't know what she was doing at the time, you know what I'm saying? But shoot. She probably didn't know what she right, was doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me and her cool to this day, but it wasn't a typical mother son relationship. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, shoot, she the homie. Mm -hmm. I talked to my mama like my homie. I've always talked to my mama like my homie, like with respect, of course, because she's still my mama, but right. I paid the block. You know, sometimes I had to do stuff to help pay the rent or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I was telling her, it was like, to certain times my mama knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. She's like, Shh, you gonna do it? Help pay the bills and you wanna be grown? I'm like, shoot, mama ego. You feel me? At the time, I'm feeling like not knowing that, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you ain't supposed to be doing that. I'm just outside getting into stuff, you know what I'm saying? Right. Fighting, chopping, whatever, what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, still rapping. 
still freestyling on the bus, being bad on the bus, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cussing out the bus drivers and the teachers and stuff like that. I'm in class, back of the class like this. Being on the desk boom, and shit. Going yeah. crazy, you feel me? But I'm just a young hopper not knowing, like, man, you know, sitting there, and I'm playing sports at the time, too. Mm-hmm. So it's like I got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I play sports, then shoot. I lead the guy down practice or whatever. And we outside, bro. We, yeah. we going crazy outside. Young, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. You know what I mean? Then I ended up coming back to North Carolina to get my structure back together because Pops ain't going for that. So, yeah. him and my stepmom, nah, uh uh-uh. uh. You got to get your stuff back together, bro. We ain't going for all that. So, yeah. man, that fatherhood, talk about that fatherhood and the importance that it played on your life and allowing you to navigate yourself in the way that you're on right now. Man, my Pops showed me everything you need to be as a Pops. And he showed me, the biggest thing he showed me is that he's not perfect as a dad, as a man either. You know what I'm saying? I got my own child, I'm, I got a daughter. I got one child, right, you know what I'm saying, for right now, but I got one child, and, like, he showed me, basically, what it take to be a man, you know what I'm saying, and realizing that, yo, you're not perfect, you're never going to be perfect, but you do the best you can, that's all you can. And one thing I learned, too, as a parent, there's no set thing to being a parent. Mm-hmm. It's just all guessing. It's literally just guessing, figuring out, okay, boom, well, that didn't work, so let me figure this out over here. And it's not like on some stuff like, okay, well, I just got a child, I don't know what to do. But there's no guy. You can't write a book up nah. and tell somebody how to parent. Ain't no blueprint to it. There's no blueprint to it. So, But that structure really helped me in what I'm doing now because it let me know, like, yo, keep your head on the swivel, bro. How your ducks in a row. Mm-hmm. Keep keep everything in order. Make sure the people around you solid or whatever. Make sure the people around you is for you. Stuff like that, you know. And that was stuff he, to this day, talk to him about it every day about it. Like, he checks on me all the time. Like, that's my dog, for real. Now, when you leaving outside the house, or before you know you got with your pops and everything, uh, learning the discipline and lessons from him. What is something that you learned from, you know, being out there on the block? Because, you know, a lot of young men are out there, you know what I'm saying? They don't really know why they're out there. Yeah. And they don't really understand the lesson behind being out there. Man, what's something that you learned? Man, I learned that it's more to it. You know what I'm saying? It's more that we try to put on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it, I learned a lot, of, a lot of the same lessons that pops taught me. I learned it myself too. I just learned them in different forms of fashion. Like with him, I didn't have to fall and hurt myself. Like mm-hmm. he was there to catch me. Outside, mm-hmm. I fell and scraped my knee, hurt myself. I had to pick myself up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was just like, you know, I learned a lot of those same lessons in different patterns. You feel me? But mm-hmm. at the same time, it really was just like the biggest thing I learned was just like, you know, if it's for you, it's for you. You know what I'm saying? Learn what you for. Like what mm-hmm. makes you tick. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I learned that music is what make me tick. Music didn't give me a voice. It helped me realize how loud my voice really is. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It didn't give me a voice. You know what I'm saying? I always had a voice. I used to be, you know what I'm saying? I was wild outside. Woo, woo, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Laughing, goofy, joking. But then really inside, I was insecure. I was shy, but I used to walk my head down. You know what I'm saying? It felt like my teeth were too big. All this, just weird shit as a kid going through, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it was just like. And they don't make it no better. We got the goddamn peers. They joning yeah, this Yeah, they joning this yeah. shit. Talking crazy, you bro. They make your skin. They you grow it. thick skin. You yeah, know then you got niggas trying to bully you or whatever, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Too, like, yeah. I went through little man syndrome too till I started in puberty. Mm-hmm. So you got niggas trying to bully you. I ain't no hoe. We going to go crazy, you feel me? Yeah. So with that. And then, like I said, I just learned, man, like, learn what makes you you. That's the biggest lesson I learned at being outside. Like, learn what makes you you, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I knew everything I was doing outside. And I ain't got to get into details. But I just knew that it wasn't me. Yeah. I knew it wasn't me. I was just outside, one, out of fear because everybody around me was doing it. I didn't want to look like, I didn't want to be a target. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, he on, what? He on back? Oh, yeah, all right, bit. You know what I'm saying? Like. And then I didn't want to look like a square. I wanted to fit in. I ain't had no friends. I'm from a different city. I'm from a different state. I'm moving around everywhere I go. I got to make new friends. I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to fight everywhere I go or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I just learned. That's the biggest lesson I learned. Learn what makes you you and stick to it. So, you know, I used to just rap. That was it. I just wanted to rap, whether it was freestyling, battling. Writing songs, I wouldn't even record. I had it. my first phone, a flip phone. I would record on voice record. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, all right, boom, make another recording was the hook, boom, then another verse. So I was just like, yeah, and I would just write all the time, stuff like that. I love to write, so that's like the biggest lesson I learned. Like, what do whatever makes you happy, and whatever makes you you do that. Mm-hmm. Don't settle for nothing else. Right. Do you remember that first song or that first verse that made you be like, dang, I'm gonna keep doing this shit? Man, I was ten, and my brother put me in a studio in uh, Charlotte. And um, I think Drake had came out. Nah, 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 nah. I want 10. I want 10. 
what it was, man, I'll tell you what it was. I have I had wrote a little cheap man, freestyle, bro. Like for my uh my brother. I just wanted my brother to know I could rap. And I wrote a little cheap freestyle or whatever. Woo, 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 and I had spit it for him. And he was just like, That's hot, bro. Like he was like, it was hot. My first time in the studio, I had recorded a song or whatever. And it was like, yo, this is dope. Like, like hey man, this hot. What what is this? No, and he had recorded it for me. He was like, This hot, this hot, this hot right here, bro. It was like oh seven or something like that. Bro. Oh, it really don't... Yeah, bro. He was like, yo, this hot, but I so I had to be like, it was oh seven, I had to be like 10, 11, 12, something like that. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, bro, he was like, You got some, bro. This hard. I like, yeah, he was like, Yeah, this hard. And like stuff like that just kind of made me like, yo, this kind of tell. I used to write remixes all the time, like mm-hmm. remixing people's songs. So the stuff like that kind of made me know, like, yo, this hard. This 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 what you need to do, bro. Right. So with your new single, how did you get it the buzz like it's doing? Because I know we talked about how you buzz in your city. Now, yeah. as far as the single, the single's a whole nother animal, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So what you doing, like, far as the marketing to make that buzz? Man, guerrilla marketing, man, and to be honest, show it really, it was a lot, of, It's we really reverting it and doing it again, too. Gotcha. Just because of the simple fact, it was a lot of bits and pieces, a lot of people on team that wasn't supposed to be there. Mm. But it's really a team effort, bro, like, just pushing it heavily, heavily, heavily. What really pushed the single out there was the fact that Every radio station is playing it. It's playing it, yeah. And it's like immediately when we first put it on radio, the first week, I want to say like the first two days, like I think like when you put it up there, they'll they'll start pushing it that Monday. Mm-hmm. The peak day is like Wednesday or something like that. It peaked top one hundred already. Damn. Like that first Wednesday, it Shot went from through. it That's went from like two seventy. Mm-hmm. It went from two seventy to sixty eight. Out the yeah. gate, they was just like yo, because all that when the DJs heard it. We got to play it. When yeah. the PDs heard it, it was like, we got to play it. And it just kept going up, up from there. So that really what made it pop off. And then it was like, okay, boom, let's drop the video. Mm-hmm. The video came out and like everybody was anticipating the video. They was waiting on it. You know what I'm saying? So when it came out, it was just like, oh, it's going crazy. It's going crazy, going right. crazy. And then it just started getting playlisted mm-hmm. all over the place, all over DSPs, all over the platforms and stuff like that. Spotify, mm-hmm. Apple Music, Tidal and stuff like that. It just started getting playlisted everywhere. And it's just like, it's just a team effort, man. Just take a budget team effort man and people really being there for you doing what they're right. supposed to do so how does that how does that work you know because i know you got to have a budget doing this yeah for sure tour. so you signed to ttg right yeah so how does that correspond with the tour do you you have you got to have your own money up front or do they support you as well so when it comes to ttg um i came to ttg with a bag you know what i'm saying gotcha. um but what it was and i can't you know i had already had motion i was fresh off of hbcu tour on my own me and my manager mm-hmm. so he was just like um Shout out Fox, but he was just like, he was looking for artists to really push. And he was just like, I'd be a fool to not, you know, not get on board with you. So a lot of the, he basically was just like, man, I got a lot of connections. I want to put them with your talent, your drive, your hustle. I got hustle. I got talent. I got connections or whatever. I want to match them with yours. So I put a business plan in front of him. He just wanted to see if I knew what I was doing. Mm. He already had the plan, had the people in place. He just needed the artist to put it behind. So that's really all it was, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, shout out Tiny. He, Tiny ended up coming in later in the situation, like little a month later. Mm-hmm. I met Tiny, you know what I'm saying? Tiny already established with this, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Tiny was just like, yo, I'm about to such and such and such and such. I got to get in these people's face. They took a trip. Next thing I know, they came. took a day trip, came back calling me. You about to headline the 18th City Tour. Bang. I said, let God work, bro. Let's do it. You yeah. feel me? So, like, it, it was really like that. So, when it comes to that, you know, if it's an independent tour, you know, the label, if you sign to label, the label will put the money up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people don't know. Like, a lot of these people, they'll run from, like, signing deals with a label. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, if you sign to an independent label, they'll be like, man, you're doing good with the independent label. You don't need da da da. Now, y'all just see the motion. Y'all don't see what's not being done or what's being done behind the motion mm-hmm. and the reason why it's being done. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we were talking earlier. They run up a big tab, a big receipt. Yeah, you were saying that. Yeah, you so when the majors want to come in, they're like, man, I want him. I want to sign him. You know yep. what I'm saying? Woo, woo, let's do it. Okay, well, bet this is what we spend on Baby Chief. This is what Baby Chief is. This is what we spend on Baby Chief for tours. This is the tours he's been on. So they'll run my EPK. They'll run my whole garment down. This is everything he did, and this is everything we spent. If you can get this number here and give him this number here, we can do a joint venture. You know what I'm saying? I'm all for that. Because at the end of the day, I'm not in this to just 
be as small as I could be. Like mm-hmm. my whole theme is like my whole slogan is be the biggest you can be. Right. Big baby T. You nah, gonna do I want, it, going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I want what yeah. Drake got. You feel me? I want what Drake. I want. I'm I'm trying to be what Drake at. That's what I'm gonna be. I'm be what Drake at. What Cole at? I'm. Mm-hmm. They you're play my there. music at the Dreamville Fest. You feel me? You're like that's crazy. There. That's hard, but you know what I'm saying. Last that's year I was talking. Major about, accomplishment you feel me? right Last there. Last year I was talking about. Yo, I'm gonna be there next year. Mm-hmm. They playing my music there, so that means next year I gotta perform there. You feel yeah. me? Cole, send a, send a check. I gotta perform there. Yeah. You feel me? I'm there. I believe, and I truly believe he gonna fuck with you. Bro. I'm telling you, Just bro. Because, oh, I already know. The person man, you are, man. you know, you know. Because I met before the music. I'm I'm glad I get to talk to you as a person. I like to meet the artists and sit and have a conversation. Like I'm big on that, you know. Because it used to be just take pictures and, you know, go on by the big biz and then I start realizing that shit ain't gonna add up to that. No. Nah, you have to talk to people, bro. Nah, like, you gotta talk to them, bro. And when I was talking to you, I was like, and I felt, you know what I'm saying, the type, type of person you is, I was like, this, yeah, you got you got a long journey, bro. Yeah, bro. I be, rapping shit, bro, I be chilling, but I love this shit to death, for one. And I'm a real deal person, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't gotta fake nothing about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here trying to be the hardest nigga. None of that, bro. Like, at the end of the day, I know me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You either gonna like me, or you're not gonna like me. You gonna love me or hate me at the end of the day. But I'm gonna be me regardless. Yeah. But I like this. You know, like I get to man. Like I was talking to him. Matter of fact, when we first met, I was talking to him. I was just like, man, I like the fact I get to come touch the DJs. Like mm-hmm. because y'all keep. I always tell people this. You know, Boosie is always gonna be relevant mm-hmm. because DJs and clubs love him. Fuck, Boosie bro. can get booked anywhere. You feel me? Especially on our side of the map. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's just put that out there first and foremost. But Boosie is a legend. Because the streets love him. And the streets love him because the DJs keep him in rotation. Mm-hmm. Because he always show love to the DJs. They call him for a book and he comes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? He show up. And he give a show. He don't come and do two songs and leave. He do a real show. Boosie come do a show. Then he come and say, hey, man, look. I'm Forget it. I'm in such and such right now. I'm going to drop the price on my features right now. Come get a feature for $4,500 or whatever. Mm-hmm. He like, man, I got money. I just want to give somebody a chance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, that's humility. That's like one of the biggest things I'm big on, like being humble and you know, I'm a human, bro. Mm-hmm. Like not feeling like I can't be touching on that. That's why people love J. Cole. That's why you don't ever hear about no static, nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Cause he's human, something. bro. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He, he kept human. that crooked smile, you know, he yeah, never yeah. changed, you know. It, exactly, you know what I'm saying? Quote, unquote, you feel me? So it's like, that's one of the big things about me. Like, nah, now one thing, I'm gonna put it on now. I'm gonna put every. I'm gonna put it all on it because I work for it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying I bought it. I work for it. The chain's gonna get bigger. Everything. You know right. what I'm saying? But you know I ain't gonna go that far. So not with jewelry and all stuff like that. But you know, I, I, I'm the man. Of, I'm a man of the people. You know what I'm saying? Like and I don't even really like people like that. I be chilling. I'm. Yeah. I be to myself. But when it comes down to people want to take pictures or chop it up with me or whatever, woo, 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 man, you can't just run up on me now. Nah. Right, but right. I'm not gonna have my security. Clothesline you with nothing like that, bro. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, homie, what's happening? Let's take a picture or whatever. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You want to spit something? Okay, ooh, I got about two minutes. Spit something, whatever. Da, da, da. I'm, I'm ready for those moments, man. Mm-hmm. I, I can't wait for them. I'm, I'm, I pray to God they come next week. Somebody yeah. like, baby, T, let me rap for you. Come on, bro, get this shit, bro. Let's, Let's go. do it. Yeah. You feel me? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Da, 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 da. I can't do nothing for you right now, but keep doing your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a picture. Let me shout you out, bro. I might follow you on the gram or something like that. Yeah. Kid, go crazy for that, so. I'm a person, oh. bro. That's it. What's your vision for the next five years? Bro, like I said, bro. I As your be, career. I want to be the biggest. I just want to elevate, bro. I want to grow. That's it, bro. I just want to grow. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, running from no, I'm not running from no money. Mm-hmm. I'm not running from no motion. I'm not running from no movies, man. Like, I want my music to be a muse. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, I want to be the biggest from my city, from my state. I want to be the biggest to do it. I want people to know that I can really rap, but my music is actually good. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I made a house record the other day. Like, no, ca- I do everything, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want, I just want to be the biggest, bro. I want all my goals in my childhood. If I could talk to my eight year old self right now, he'd be patting me on the back, telling me, like, just keep going, big, bro. Like, and that's what I want. I want to make my daughter as proud as I can. You feel me? My oh, family as proud as I can. I want to change my people's life. Like, yeah. I don't want my pops and them to have to work a nine to five no more. True that. I want them, shoot, man, mm-hmm. look, go get me some investment properties. Let's do this. This is your job now. Mama, you going to decorate. Pops, you do the maintenance. Let me know what you need, and y'all going to find another spot. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I want to set my set my siblings up. You know what I'm saying? I want me and my brother to be two of the biggest because we doing it together. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no group or nothing like that, but you know, we always together. That's my dog, my day mm-hmm. one. So I just wanna I wanna go major, man. As far as like points on it though, man, you know, major label situation come in, let's do it. If the numbers is right and the deal is right and the figures is right and the wording is right, the contracts is right, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want all the big stages, the festivals. 
you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm about to be the LeBron James of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm about <laughs> to go crazy. You gotta speak it into yeah, existence, I'm telling man. You, bro, I'm I, about I to tell go. you big on manifestation. Man, come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm, I can tell, you, man. I'm about to go crazy out yeah. here, bro. Quick icebreaker question, man. Barbecue or soul food? Ah, oh, that's that's a that's a crazy question, bro. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say barbecue, but I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, I love me some barbecue. I like cookout there. food like a yeah, mug, yeah, bro. Man. You get some chicken, I'm gonna crazy. grill. It Come on, down. bro. Yeah. I, I I can't wait. I love man. My brother grill year round. Yeah. So I'm a big on grill. Food. Love it, man. Chicken yeah. thighs. Yo, what's yeah. your favorite food from the grill, from man? From the grill, bro. Um, I like smoked beef ribs, bro. Smoked beef no ribs. Cap. I like okay. smoked beef ribs. I don't think bro. I've ever had that. No cap, bro. But um, and I'll say, I'll say grilled barbecue chicken, bro. Yeah. Man. Grilled chicken, bro. Smoke some beef ribs. I'm telling you, they fall off the bone. They I'm ready to check too. it out, dog. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. My brother made some. I've been traumatized ever since, bro. <laughs> traumatized. But no cap, like yeah. grilled chicken wings, bro. Barbecue on them. And yeah. a little burnt too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ooh, shit. I love when it's burnt, man. Give me all that, bro. I need all that. What type of woman is Big Chief into? Oh man, oh. what's your type? As far as women go, you know what I'm saying. Shout out Stinker Butt Shaco. You feel me? But um, I ain't really. I can't say I got no type, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I'm more attracted to your mind. Though. Now, I got to be attracted to your face, bro, and your yeah. body. You, know? you can't just be, we ain't going to do all that. But you bro, know what, what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel real, though. No. But Shit. no cap. Like, I got to be, I, I like I like bad bitches, bro. I ain't going to hold you. But Yo. What type of woman that make you settle down, though? Like, this, I got to settle down. Oh, she got to be a hustler. Yeah. Yeah, she gotta be a hustler and she gotta make me laugh, bro. Mm-hmm. I love to laugh, like, well, I'm a goofball. I Real joke shit. all day long. Yeah, she gotta, she gotta be a hustler, meaning like she gotta come add to the table. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, you know they get rich. She ain't okay. Yeah, well, we I ain't gotta work no more. Yeah, she, y'all know who my man is now. Nah, like, you gotta keep going. Gotta, with that shit. Hey, look, well, shoot, but look, I got the business idea. I'm gonna write it down. I already got this set up. We're going to do this. I got this much money. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll match it, babe. Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But she got to be a hustler. She got to be. She got to have a mind of her own, be a hustler. She got to be funny, and she got to make me comfortable. Mm-hmm. Like, meaning, like, you know, just let me be me. You know what I'm saying? Know that, okay, well, boom. He, sometimes he want his space. Let me give him his space. You know what I'm saying? I know he like these chips. Let me get these chips for him. Like, you, you got to be that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because all of that is a role model for, for my daughter, too. You know what I'm saying? That's a good woman right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I already know you a human. Stuff going to come with your attitude. You're going to be moody. Yeah, they you, women, though. You're going to want to be bothered. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You're going to be, you might be a slight bit insecure a little bit. Every woman a little bit insecure about mm-hmm. it. And it may not be about a woman. It could just be about situations. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas got it fucked up out here for women, too. Yeah, so, yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Taking accountability. Oh, yeah. so. Social media got niggas fucked. Yeah, exactly, bro. Moment. I do not. You know what I'm saying? I I don't mm-hmm. be doing all the social media stuff no more, bro. Right. My last two situations, I did it. I'm talking about like posted them. Mm-hmm. Woman Crush Wednesday, sh- the taking the pictures together with yeah. the, both of them dog me out. You heard me? Damn. Both of them on my line right now, begging me. Yeah. And been on my line for p- past two and a half, three years, begging me. But. They both dog me out. See, they don't be like, hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for a woman, for me. The tables turn fast, bro. Come on, bro. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? All I wanted to, all I wanted was a little belief. That was it. Mm-hmm. I got it. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to get the bread. You're going to be screaming. Get everything I got. You treat me good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's for a woman, for me, that's what she got to be, bro. I ain't going to hold you. I had, a, I had a Puerto Rican fetish when I was a kid, though. But down in Florida, that's all they're down there. That's all they're down there. Puerto Ricans, yeah. Cubans, <laughs> Dominican yeah. Republicans. Jesus Ooh, Christ, man, Puerto Ricanas, man. Man, what? Somebody man. told me, though, I, they think like I got, they think I got a type because it seemed like I always deal with, like, you know, red bones, yellow bones, light yeah. skin women. So, I'm like, man, I, I love chocolate women, though. Like, I love all women, bro. Right, right. I, I love big baby, big baby, two player. Like, hey, hell, two, two I don't player. discriminate, baby, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. cook, we scrape, you hear me? Give me a good book and a good bitch. I'm good, yeah. you hear me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, man, I respect that, man. My God, so, man. man. With an upcoming project, man. What upcoming project that you're currently promoting, or what current project are you currently promoting? So as far as like what I'm promoting, we really just promoting the single Uchi. 
um, and pushing a single because we you know, we riding, bro. It's just going it it's just going crazy, bro. It, the DJs all want it. They going crazy in the club. Script club going crazy for it. I get tagged five six times a day on my story, seven mm-hmm. ten times a day on my story. Like baby chief yelling my name, whatever. Charlotte, all the DJs in Charlotte playing it. All through North Carolina's playing it. I'm performing it everywhere. We performed it. I, I had like seven shows at South by Southwest. Um, performing like seven eight times. Um. And then, man, I actually got another song about to drop, though, uh, on the 28th of this month. That's my pop's birthday. I'm about to drop a song okay. uh, called Happy Act Birthday like for the show. Like, so. His birthday is the last Friday of this month. I'm like, it's perfect. That's the last Friday of the month. My brother just dropped. We signed mm-hmm. to the same label, so he just dropped. We dropped the record together with Uchi. They classified as my record, yeah. but, you know, it's us on it together. He dropped Dear Best Friend on the 31st of March, so it's been riding. It's been going crazy about the past week and a half, two weeks. They really about to push that big push behind it and then act like that for me come out on the 28th of mm-hmm. this month. So we got that coming right now. But like I said, Uchi's like the main focus right now, but I've been premiering Act Like That on this tour. Mm-hmm. I'll open up with Act Like That, and then Uchi come out, me and him go crazy together. So that's what that's what I'm pushing right now. But the project might be in the works, man. I got my, my uh, hard job crazy. Yeah. I, I'm in the studio every chance I get. You know what I'm saying? I'm in there. I'm going crazy. I write on the road. I write in the hotels. I write at the venues sometimes when mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there waiting, chilling or whatever. I'll probably like think of something, jot it down. So my hard job crazy. So you never know. You might see a, you know what I'm saying? You might see a Baby Chief album come. I might see a Baby Chief mixtape come sometime the end of the summer, beginning of fall, beginning of winter. You never know. I don't yeah. know. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm excited, man. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it too, bro. It's a non skipper. Big Chief in the building, man. Man, I appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, your whole team for rocking out with us, man. man I appreciate y'all you know having me, bro. You know, Cap, Birmingham, been good to me. For this, sure. second, this is my second time here. Yeah. It's been good to me the last time, good to me this time, too. So, we going crazy. Any advice for the up and coming? You That was in your shoes, in your position five years ago, with that, but they in your position now. For sure. Yeah. Um, The main thing is, you know, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you to decide. You're going to do it or not. If you can do it or not. You know what I'm saying? And when you decide if you're going to do it or not, do it to death. Mm-hmm. Do it to the best of your abilities. Be the biggest you can be. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get here, you know, don't be surprised that it's not about what you can do. It's about what you can bring. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 90% business, 10% talent. Mm-hmm. You got to be able to, You they got to be able to look at you and say, okay, he can bring a dollar here. You got to be valuable. And the only thing that's going to make you valuable is to know that you got to be valuable. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to fabricate nothing or nothing like that. But just know that it's 90% business, 10% talent. And know that the only person that can stop you is you. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Man, bro, perfect way to leave that. Man, I love it, bro. I love it. The Jordan year statement man. right there. You know what I'm saying? man. Appreciate you coming through. Tell people to follow you at, though, bro. Man, get all my music on all DSPs under the name Baby Chief, B-A-B-Y-C-H-E-E-F. You can follow me on all social media platforms too. Baby underscore Chief, B A B Y underscore C H E E F. Don't forget the E E F. The E F is two, two fresh, two players. Should be two of me. Big Baby, no cap. You did, Q, what's that? Hey, man, you already heard the man. Big Baby Chief is in the building. Be sure to rock with him, bro. He's going to go all over the nation. And be sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Become the next icebreaker. Tell all the icebreakers to pull up on us, man. It's Polar Jocks, baby. You dig? And uh, we got